Whew boy, after that long ass intros of cutscene, not only do we get to meet Master N, I want to kick myself in the forehead, and we get to meet Saku, the twin sister of Bo. Isn't she lovely? Uh, the difference you can tell between who, wh which one is playing, other than their voices and how they act. I believe Saku's little skirt on the bottom is more flailed out. Um, Saku's hair is messier than Bo's. The hat they wear, um, when the sun when the sun symbol is up, that's Saku. When the moon symbol is up, that's Bo. I believe Bo has a black ba backpack and Saku has a red backpack. There, I think there was also one other thing, but I can't remember what it is. And, wait, try it. See, um, oh, so you don't really know anything. Well, screw you too, Gaspard. Uh, okay. Entrance. Tell me about entrance. Because I would really love to get to... Oh, dear sweet God. I've got no choice but to invite her. But she seems like the type that'd hate fighting or stuff like the arena. What do I do? And unfortunately, we kind of have no choice but to use Ali. Ali is very useful because clerics are very useful and very important to a party. If only it wasn't limited to three people. But yeah, clerics are important, and I'm a failure at a cleric. Also, if you're in a root town, you'll be able to log out anytime, so it doesn't really matter what service. I'll check out Delta Blurry Obsessive Slacker. Shut up! I have to invite Adelie into my party to ask about the arena. I know this, Hasea! Stop competing! And she's the only one online, of course. Oh, sweet, dear, mighty lords of the above. Uh, no, I can't give you the low ten equipment. So what we have to do first is... This is where things get important, kind of. We are in the Omega server, and that only has a root town. You can't actually go to areas or dungeons with this warp gate. Not to mention, for specific keywords, such as what was just said, it has a specific server you have to go to. So first, we have to go back to the Mag we have to go back to Maganu in the Delta server before we can actually go to the area we want to go to. I swear to God, Hisao, if you repeat this, if you okay, you're not gonna repeat it. Thank you. Holy crap, I get really pissed off when he repeats this stuff, and oh sweet god, I hope Allie doesn't die. So hopefully I can just do this um, mission, and we can end the episode there. Thank you so much for saying yes on such short notice. I'll work hard to make up for last time's fiasco, too. Well, you know what they say. It's always best to be prepared, right? That's why I went and bought these items for us, just in case. Smoke screen! Yes! Oh, man. <laughs> She has no interest in leveling up. These will come in handy, right? Uh, yeah. Thanks. I woke up early today so I could log in and make preparations for us. It's so fun, it's almost like we're going on a picnic. Yeah. Seems like she's in a good mood. Maybe she'll be more willing to help with the arena than I thought. Hmm, I'll hurry up and get her to the beast statue, then ask her about the arena. Come on, Haseo. Let's go! Okay, this is the shortcut to the beast statue. Um, wait a second. Let's go this way, Haseo. Hmm? But isn't that a dead end? Yes, so she gave us smoke screen, which is we can escape enemy ba um, enemy battles. And return fetters, which I believe teleports you to the nearest platform for you to escape. I like you. Or at least I like the smoke screens. Look! Over there! Huh? See that mirage? 
flashlight thing over there in the distance? It's kind of blurry, but can you tell that there's a big machine there? Yeah, I can. Well, that big machine is called the Crest Gun. A long time ago, humans filled that machine with the power of the goddess Aurora and fired it at the realm of the gods. It resulted in the gods being destroyed by their own powers, and the human beings had to live with the guilt of being god killers. I know. That story's part of the world background from the official site, right? That stuff's just made up. But, in this world, it's the truth. Even if it is fiction, the feelings of pain and sadness that we feel here in this location are in fact very real. Yeah, like hell I feel that. I'm sure that feeling in itself has meaning. Huh? I think it's the little things like that that help connect us to this world and each other. No, it's just you. Do you find this boring? Should I stop? Hell yeah. Haseo? Is something wrong? Well, I don't really get it, but... I guess that way of thinking might be right, too. Yep! Okay, then let's go to the next spot! Okay, so apparently I am wrong. I could have swore Shino made a mention of it as well in the anime. She might have? I can't remember. Either way, um, actually, while well, I have a chance, Adelie, 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 sweetheart. Oh, no, you already have that. Never mind. So, yeah, world backstory. Interesting. I actually quite like it, honestly. But yeah, you can kind of see how Haseo's not really interested in the game. The game, he's just there to level up. Oh, it's adorable! Haseo! Haseo! Look, over there on that small island! Oh, it's adorable! Yeah. How cute! Wish I could touch him! I just love birds. All kinds of birds. Like canaries or sparrows? In fact, I named this character Atali after a bird. That right. And you? Huh? Where'd your name come from? What does it mean? Uh... The meaning? Oh, it's nothing worth talking about. Sorry about that. Yes, I got interrupted once again. I really wish I could record without interruptions and... You know what? Screw you, I don't feel like fighting. Uh, where am I supposed to go anyways? Ali, I swear to god, if you make me go to another dead end, I'm gonna punch you in the face. But yeah, you can kind of see how Haseo is not really into this game. The only reason why he was ever into this game in the first place was Shino. And the reason why he's continuing to be continuing to be in this game. Oh wait, I need to get the fragments. God frickin' A! Uh, the only reason why he's continuing this game is to say Shino because there's no other way and CC Corp is not shutting down the game to figure out what the heck's going on. Which, in a sense, is bad. Let's get going. And, oh crap. So yeah, um, because we're the only ones fighting, this is gonna be a little bit of a hassle. We won't have to worry about healing too much. Mainly because Adelie's gonna be here to heal us. However, we have to do all the fighting, though. Which is 
glorious indeed, because holy crap, we are... We, well, we're the same level as this area, but this is... Yeah. No, 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 go, ah, dang it. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut this battle out, because it's actually gonna take a while. Okay, that took a while, but we got that done. And, hey, your thing is a sunflower thing, the girl. So yeah, I managed to pull off two Regengis. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna use smoke screens, honestly, because holy crap, is this gonna take a while. Uh, there's one down there, so let us u utilize our little cheat sheet over here. Go over to the left. Actually, is there a lucky animal? No, there's no lucky animal, sad. So, either during a battle or before battle, if you use a smoke screen, we are completely invisible for a certain amount of time and can open, 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 open. Now I need to run. I need to run. Wait, what? Oh, Kate. How did they not. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure they were supposed to see me there. Um. Okay. I'll just take that into granted, and I'm gonna pick up this one as well. Because we can't actually open up a chest while we're invisible. Oh dear god. This is gonna be painful, isn't it? No, no, no. I would like to keep that last smoke screen. No, we're not. Dang it. And this is, uh, this is when we use a smoke screen in battle and we just get out of the battle. Useful. Holy crap, seriously? In the world, people are supported by a steam-based culture that they have invented. The powers of steam are shared by the chim-chims with people like us. That's part of the game's background. Yes, but you and I are currently inside of that world, right? We're both here, right now, living in the world. <sighs> That's why you shouldn't forget about things like gratitude or consideration just because we're inside of a game. I think that we have to. We need to treat this world properly and open up to it. So, Haseo, have you ever met anyone in the world you could open up to? <sighs> For me, that special person is actually Sakaki. And you too, Haseo. Well, let's keep going. Honestly, if this was a normal circumstance and we weren't playing as Haseo, a lot of people would be mistaking him as two people going out on a date. But yeah, th that's what I don't really see in a lot of MMOs is that, um, oh god, no. Haseo? Are you tired? No. Just a little bit further. We're almost there. Let's go. Okay. Something. <laughs> Something messed up with your head, that is. I know, isn't it? This is number 15 among my all-time recommended places. So, you have a top 20 or something? Nope. I've got 132 altogether. Oh, I see. Why don't we keep going? Hmm. Oh. What is it now? What? That's a... um... 
Awesome! It's the gold bird! Stop! Huh? You can't kick it! You'll hurt it if you kick it! Come on, Haseo, hold it in! Endure! If you get mad, there'll be no hope for the arena. Yeah, you're right. I guess it would be kind of mean to kick it. That's right. Besides, look how cute it is. Damn it. And it was a real gold bird, too. I think taking leisurely walks like this is what really makes the gold bird happy. So let's just leave him alone, okay, Haseo? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's keep going then. <laughs> <laughs> it just walks right past them. Uh, even though there is a gold bird here, it, it you don't look around and it's not here. Anyways, from what I know from most games, they don't really give you a feeling of thinking about the game as a whole, of the world. Kind of, basically, you're thinking the same way Adelie's thinking. You rarely see that in a video game. And... Although there are, there are MMOs that have story missions and such that are actually connected to the game's story as well. It's kind of it, it's kind of rare for you to get really into it in my opinion. I've only had one game so far to have that effect and that's Mabinogi. Although they kind of dulled down on it and that makes me a little bit sad, but whatever. Anyways, we're here at the Beast Statue. Let me out of here because this video is probably longer than it is with all these cutscenes. But yeah, I can't feel bad for Haseo, honestly. Complete opposite of Ali. He doesn't care about the games, like the game as a whole. He just cares about what he cares about. Alright, so we got the beast statue. Let us get out of here then. Alright, so now we just need to get to the platform and we should call the day. <sighs> I'm sorry. I guess we didn't gain very many experience points, did we? No, but these excursions aren't so bad every now and then. I'm so glad. I don't really care much for simple level raising. That's not why I play the game. If you're always concerned with numbers, then you won't notice all the beautiful things around you. And that would be a real shame. Hey. Have you ever been to the arena? Like, fight in it? No, I haven't. I find the whole idea of players fighting against each other kind of scary, really. Is it? Defeating other people just so you can build up your rank? Well, to be blunt, I hate that kind of thing. But, you know... I think it would be good for you to learn a little bit more about the world. Can I ask you something, Haseo? What? Do you really enjoy winning over other people? What are you talking about? Yeah, who doesn't? I don't. Or rather... I've never really had a chance to win anything yet. But I do know what it feels like to lose, and how painful that can be. This place... It was used as a quest when I just started playing. It was a time attack quest. I came in dead last because of the way I am. And everybody laughed and made fun of me. Since then, I stopped participating in competitive events. So, that's why you don't like the arena. It's not just the arena. Having a higher level than others, finding better weapons than others. So what is that supposed to prove? I mean, 
What's the point of defeating your opponent just to show off your power? Well, it's only natural for players to want to be strong in an RPG, right? Yeah. But Haseo, there's no goal in that. Personally, I think it's also really important for us to slow down and, and stop. And to enjoy things like flowers blooming around your ankles. Nice things like meeting all sorts of new people. Slow down? Stop and to enjoy? <laughs> it's impossible! I can't take this anymore! What are you, an idiot? Huh? All of this! He's nothing more than a bunch of computer data! It's just a bunch of fake stuff made by slapping textures on top of polygons! How the hell do you find any part of this made-up world beautiful? <gasps> There's only one thing that's real about this world, and that's us, the players! Getting stronger and defeating your opponent, those are the ways that all of us keep connected! That's the way this game is played! What's wrong with that, huh? Answer me! Tell me, what's wrong with that? I... I... Leave. Huh? Damn, you're so irritating! Don't show your face again! <gasps> Damn it! Don't go telling me crap like, slow down with Shino's face. Well, so much for the third player for the arena. Might as well go back to Canards at home and report.